Okay, this is uh, problems number 29 through 39 of section 1-3. And on this problem it says 10% of ACM students are nursing students. So I labeled that probability of nursing is uh, 0.1. 40% of students at ACM are sophomores. So the probability of sophomore is equal to 0.4. And it says 5% of ACM sophomores are nursing students. So the probability of nursing given sophomore is equal to 0.05. So here's what we know. 29 says, what percent of ACM students are sophomore nursing students? Well, that means sophomore in nursing. And the probability of sophomore in nursing is equal to the probability of sophomore times the probability of nursing, nursing given sophomore. And we have this information. The probability of sophomore is 0.4. The probability of nursing given sophomore is 0.05. And 0.4 times 0.05 is 0.02. Now, here's the same problem doing it with the table. So what you do is put one variable here, like nursing and non-nursing, and here's 10%. This is your probability of nursing right here, probability of nursing. And if 10% of the students are nursing, then 90% of the students are not nursing students. And then down here, here's sophomore, and here's not sophomore. Label that with an S and an S with a little hash mark over it. So the probability of sophomore is 0.04. So therefore, the probability of not sophomore, let me just do that right here, probability of not sophomore is uh, equal to uh, 0 .06, uh, 0.6. So here's what we have here. And then we were also given this information about the probability of nursing given sophomore is 0.05. So that's right here. Okay. Now, let me get rid of some of this extra information that we don't have yet. Now, this is what we're looking for, the probability of sophomore in nursing. So we know 5% of the sophomore th students are nursing. So that's your 5%. And then we multiply that times the probability of sophomore. What percentage of the students are sophomores? 40%. Of this 40%, 5% of them our nursing students. That's why we multiplied the 5% times the 40% to get this 2% right here. So there's um, uh, that problem. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Um, problem number 30 then says, uh, what percent of ACM nursing students are sophomores? This is what this problem is looking for, the probability of sophomore given nursing, because it says of ACM nursing students. What percent of ACM nursing students? That's your given. Okay. Well, if I look for that, that's this spot right here. We're looking for the probability of sophomore given uh, nursing. Okay. Well, let's see. Can I get this? Well, another way of calculating the probability of sophomore nursing is to take the probability of nursing times the probability of sophomore given nursing. Well, the probability of sophomore nursing is 0.02. I know that from the previous problem. And the probability of nursing is 0.1. And this is what I'm looking for. So if this is what I'm looking for, then to get this, I'll take the 0.02 divided by the 0.1. And 0.02 divided by 0.1 is 0.2. And that would give me the probability of sophomore given nursing right here. This is 0.02. Or sorry, 0. Uh, 0 0.2. OK. Now. How could you get that without uh, this? Well, what you could do is say, well, how what formula ties these? You're still pretty much using formula. To get uh, the probability of sophomore nursing, you can either take the probability of, uh, of uh, nursing, sorry, the probability of sophomore times the probability of nursing given sophomore, like we did here for this way, 0.05 times 0.04. Or we can get it by taking the probability of nursing times the probability of sophomore given nursing. Well, if this times this equals this 0.02, then I can get this 0.2 by taking the 0.02 divided by the 0.1. And that will give me the 0.2 right there. OK, so let's go on to 31. What percent of ACM sophomores are non-nursing students? Well, if you write this, probability of non-nursing given that it was sophomore. Well, the easiest way to do this is using a bit of information that we already have up here. This tells me that 5% um, of sophomores are nursing students. So if 5% of sophomores are nursing students, then 95%, one minus this, 95% of sophomores must not be nursing students. So that was just doing one minus this answer right there. 
This one says, what percent of ACM students are sophomore and nursing students? So we're looking for, uh, sorry, and non-nursing students. So we're looking for the probability of S and not N. So use the fact that there's only one way that you could be a sophomore in terms of, of uh, this other variable nursing. You're either a sophomore and you're a nursing student, or you're a sophomore and you're not a nursing student. So we know the probability of sophomore is 0.4. The probability of sophomore and nursing, we already figured that out, that's 0.02. So the only thing we don't know is this bit right here. So to solve for this missing bit, just subtract 0.02, and you get 0.38. So that would be the probability of sophomore and not nursing is 0 0.38. This one says, what percent of ACM non-nursing students are sophomores? So what's the probability of sophomore given that the student is not nursing? Well, that's this little spot right here. Well, how can I get that? Well, I take this value, and I divide it by the probability of nursing, which is this right here, okay? Again, it's looking for S given not nursing. So I take this, it's always this, divided by one of these two. Now, which one of these two is it? Well, this is, um, what we're looking for is S given not N. So the thing that we need up on top to multiply with this, to get this, is the not N. So this is the one we're going to use. So you take the 0.38 divided by 0.9, and that's how you do that, 0.38 divided by 0.9.